Hello. Today's video, I want to look at how I made the base for this card. It's a centre stepper card, and it's just made from a the base is just made from a single sheet of 300 GSM white card. So there we go. Old flat for posting. So it, when it's up, it looks like it's got lots of dimension, and then it, it all just goes flat. Um, so. This one I actually made sorry, using A4 card. Um, and then, but I wanted to actually show how to do the scoring using my scoreboard. And then I realized my scoreboard is set out in imperial measurements. So to make the measuring easy, what I've done, I've done a version with the card cut down to a length of 11 inches. So um, if you're wanting to work in imperial, and you've only got A4 card. The way I've done it is I've actually used this. Let me tilt the camera down. This is my Couture Creations scoring board. Um, I'll show you some of its other features in a moment or two. So to cut down my card, I've just put the card on here and I've, I'm have i using a ball tool because this is 300 GSM card and I it, it takes a bit more pressure. So. I've just scored lightly down the 11 inch line and that's just going to show me where to trim my card okay so I'll come back to the score the scoreboard in a moment after I've trimmed the card let me move that out of the way I'm going to bring my mini guillotine in for another Couture Creations product and this will give me a lovely edge on my card now I needed to measure because it's a mini guillotine, so it hasn't got a, an extending ruler. Um, so I just want to line that, line my score line up with the edge of the, the metal plate here. Make sure it's butted up against the end there. Which might take a moment or two to get that in the right place. Hold the guard down. So it holds the card in place. Press down. It gives me a lovely cut edge. I can't actually see if I've got that in the right place. But it does give a lovely, a lovely edge, no feathering at all. Move that out of the way and bring the scoreboard back. So the Couture Creation scoreboard, it does have metric measurements let me sit down so i can see what i'm showing you okay it has them on the on the other sides here uh, but you haven't got an edge to butt up against so and and the score lines are actually all lined up exactly with the eighth inch marks for the imperial so um it's just easier to be able to work in imperial sizes so there's that uh, it, it does come with a scoring tool in the back here and this uh, great wedge shape which is just what you need for making envelopes or doing uh, folds on cards where you need um, 45 degree angles so basically you can put your card up against this and then you're going to score across it at an exact 45 degree angle really really useful so there will be another video making envelopes and things and it's yours in the back here so you can't lose it it's always there ready for you to use okay so back to the front so i've got my piece of card that's now 11 inches okay so i'm going to want to um, score this for my card and if I bring in the one I did earlier this is perhaps what you, you, you need to do if you're going to be doing some of these is create yourself a template one that you keep and then you can just refer back to it so the score lines don't go all the way across they only go so far to where this cut line is and then they stop so that cut line is going to be at 
one, two, and three eighths of an inch. Okay, so I'm just going to put my ruler there to help me stop in the right place. Okay, doesn't that's it. So I'm going to be scoring at one and a half and three to there, and then I'm going I need to score along the center line of my card and I'm just going to put part of that in for a minute and that's going to be halfway so half of 11 is five and a half so I'm just going to put that a score line somewhere in the middle there so that I can actually find that no I'm not finding the score line I have to come down there very lightly and then I put my ball tool in there and put my ruler up against it. I should be able to come down here and that's it and find the same score line. There we are. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the length it needs to be. Okay, and then so this distance here from this line to that centre point. Um, no, sorry. The distance here is five and a half and then the distance from here to my next score line also needs to be five and a half so you can either use a ruler and match up with your score line at this end and go to five and a half which should line up with a seven score line so you can avoid doing the maths by putting your ruler on and going five and a half along or you can go okay I wanted five and a half and I've gone one and a half so I need to go to six is half and then another one is the seven okay so that score line again I want to come out to my two and three eighths mark so to there okay so that's one end of the card blank done and then I'm going to flip my card over that way don't flip it that way I want it that way so that my score lines are still at I guess it so you can see it tilt the camera a bit more there we are I want to make sure my score lines are at this end I've gone too far now okay so my, my score lines I've done are still at the end where I've got the card butted up against the edge of the scoreboard and then I just repeat the same. So I'm going to put my ruler on at two and three eighths. It's got one and a half and three and seven. Okay. And then I'm also going to draw a line on. Now I'm making sure I've got my ruler on the two and three eighths from the end of the first score line up the end of that last one that's going to be my cut line I'm just going to flip back I'm going to put draw that line in on here as well and I've just got the end of my ruler butted against the end of his it makes sure that I'm, I'm actually straight as in I haven't gone off at a strange angle so that should be where I need to cut and if I'm not sure if I measure move my card away from the edge and measure there then that should come exactly two and three eighths okay and now because I can see what I'm doing I can put in the rest of this line okay so I'm going to use my ruler here just to give me a stop point Go back into that groove and extend it up to that line and down to my ruler. Okay, and that's all the marking up I need to do. Okay, so bear with me while I get my cutting mat. Okay, 
So now I'm going to use a craft knife for this and I've got a, a crafting ruler with a metal edge. Okay, if you just use plastic rulers, you, you will cut into them with the craft knife. Um, and then your lines start going wiggly and you, or your knife gets stuck. So if you've got uh, a paper trimmer with a plunge blade, um, it's the sort that has a, a groove that the, the cutter runs in. Um, you can put the cutter in the middle of the line and then sort of put it down into place. You can use one of those for this. Okay, so I've got my ruler on my pencil line. Put my knife in. Cut. Now, if you're not sure if, if it's cut properly, don't pick the ruler up. Just go straight back. Once you pick your ruler up, it's almost impossible to get it back in the same place. So if you're not sure you've gone all the way through, I'm, I'm sure I have. So there we are. That's one side. And I cut the other side and then we'll show it, see how the folds work. I'm stopping at that last score line. Yeah, the last one we put in at seven. Okay. I'm going to put my craft knife safely away. So now I've got my two score lines. Okay, I'm not sure that one's gone quite as far as it needed to. I'm just gonna I'm just snip in there with my scissors. Maybe. Okay, I'm not gonna get those in there. I will have to use the knife again. But I'm not gonna try and get my ruler back on this because it's it's only it's a couple of millimetres. That's there. If I turn it around, I can actually start in the cut line and just extend it. There we are. And I'm on a glass mat here, so it doesn't matter that I've not put my self-healing mat back underneath. Okay, I find it... Um, I don't tend to cut on here very much. I find things slide about, so I, I still use a self-healing mat. Put it on top of my glass mat. Okay, so the folds. So this one in the middle, that's kind of the centre of our card. But then that also needs to be a mountain. So those, those ones there are all mountains. And then the next one at the side here is a valley. And I'm just teasing them into place. And then those ones at the front are another mountain. So I'm just bending them gently to start with. There we are. Just to get them going. And then I can gradually start them in the card so they'll go flat. Okay. So I've got it flat and then I'm going to burnish all the, all the folds. And don't forget the ones under here. So that's what I used. So I, I did this from the A, full A4 sheet, but there's enough. Um, it doesn't matter if if the centre panel here sticks up above the, the top.
top of the card, the cardstock a bit more. Um, and there's enough uh, width here. Although it's not quite four centimeters, it doesn't matter. The mat will just be a slightly different size, or there'll be a bit less white card showing. It's, it's one of those things. So I've used on this card I made. I used the uh, Couture Creations cut foil and embossed dies um, from the Modern Essentials range. That the, the treasured frames. Um, it's a three-part set, so it comes with these two sizes of frames. Um, and a lovely key embellishment that I didn't use on this card. Um, and then I've used papers from the new Butterfly Garden um, collection um, that's um, about to come out from Couture, Couture Creations. Okay, so, and these elements are from the uh, ephemera pack. Um, So those come with it as well. And then to give them some dimension, um, Couture Creations have thought out um, a range of black foam pads in, in various shapes and sizes. Um, these are, so you've got large dots, small dots. You've got strips. Uh, Yes, foam strips and squares. Okay, um, and I thought I'd try out using them on this. So even if people start kind of looking behind the elements, um, it, it, it's nearly impossible to see the, the foam pads behind there because they're black ones. So um, they, they've worked really well for this. Okay, so centre stepper card. I say I've used the treasured frames, but you could cut mats and layers to fit and use, use this idea um, with these papers or others. It's a centre stepper card. So there we are, there's my, my blank. Thank you for watching.